All right, what is going on today, explorers? Uh, it's been a while since I posted. Welcome to my channel, if you're new. Uh, I'm John, and today we're gonna go on an adventure. That's the first one I've been on in a while because look at the sky. It's smoky, and it's hard to stay out here uh, too long without getting a, a sore throat the next day. Um, but I'm in Carson City on top of a hill. I just want to get show you this, how smoky it's been. You can't even see you can't even see the mountain range up there. It's so smoky. So we're going to get the hell out of town. Uh, I'm just going to drive for about five hours east. Maybe make a couple stops along the way, see some cool stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, let's get started on this adventure. Look, jet on a stick. Alrighty guys, so uh, we are in uh, Austin, Nevada. Pretty cool little town. Um, I am feeling like a little hungover from yesterday. And uh, at first it was all right uh, this morning, early, but now it's not. I think I'm gonna get a beer and uh, just to, you know, like if you drink a beer, it's supposed to help with the hangover, but we'll see. See if it's too early for beer. It's only noon. Remove mask before entry. Okay. <laughs> Somebody in there? How's it going, guys? Oh, that's what Pokemon is? I guess she didn't see that I need to be served. Need sweetener on them? Uh, I don't. Alrighty, guys. So we're just sitting out here. The I don't know what this place is called. It's just the, it's like pretty much one of two restaurants, <clears throat> one of two bars in this little town. Um, got my beer, got some uh, grilled cheese. Hopefully this will um, cure my hangover. We'll see. Man, I was a little drunk this morning still. I wasn't drinking that much, but I don't drink very often anymore. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this here and then uh, Onto the next part. Alrighty, guys, so we are leaving the bar in Austin. That church was built in like the 1800s, this church right there. But, anyways, onward. Onward. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, what do we have here? Hot springs, hot springs, very hot, very hot springs. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's kind of yucky. I think I'm going to uh, take a seat in the yucky pool. Yeah, I'm not going to get in. I just stuck my feet in. The smoke is getting less. That's a good thing. So there's another pool I want to check out, but it's still too hot. Um, there's a guy that I met at that bar. Um, we happen to be coming to the same place. And uh, he took it out the water out of it because they divert water to these little pools around here. He took the water out uh, sort of to cool down, but it's still a little too hot. This one is actually pretty nice, but it's literally just a bunch of like moss and silt. And it's you put your foot down in there and the whole thing just gets cloudy and gross. So... Uh, yeah, but I think this is about as far as I'm going to stick my feet in on that one. Alrighty guys, so here's the other pool, but it is too hot for now. So we're going to keep pushing forward to our destination. I might check it on the way back tomorrow afternoon. Alrighty guys, so we are in Ely, Nevada. Uh, this is 2,000 square or 2,000 feet higher than um, than Reno or anything, so it's actually pretty cool up here. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I don't even remember the last time I've been to Ely, Nevada. I don't even remember the last time that I was in Ely, Nevada. I was probably a kid, and my parents were taking me. Uh, this is a pretty cool little town. This is actually one of the coolest little western towns I think I've been to. They got a Look at some kind of uh, stars here. Hank Thompson, Charlie Pride. Oh, those must be country singers. So um, what we're doing here is getting some food. We might go into uh, there, the Nevada, the Nevada Hotel, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I want to get some food. Alrighty, guys. So I stopped in here for some lunch. Pretty cool spot. I didn't even know it was a restaurant. I just walked in the door and it was a restaurant. But I think it's also a casino as well. Um, so let's uh, see what they got and we're gonna get some food. Alrighty, so got the, uh, the lasagna. Uh, it's freaking huge. A lot more lasagna than I thought. It's definitely not a uh, Olive Garden lasagna. Good. Tastes like a lasagna. Um, could have used a little less uh, noodles, but oh well. Still good. Kind of hard to fuck up a lasagna. Alrighty, guys, so I thought about it and I'm going to stay at this uh, Nevada Club hotel. Um, it's a uh, it says it's $76 on, online, so that's not that bad of a price, uh, especially for a weekend day. So uh, let's go check it out. Let's see what the rooms look like. Alrighty guys, so I got a room. Uh, it was $86 and we're on the top floor, so that should be pretty cool. Um, let's check out what it looks like. All right, 604, 604, 601, 604. Here we go. look like interesting not much they're basic uh, rooms oh that must go to the room next door yep pretty uh, pretty basic uh, bathroom 
not bad. Not bad for $86. And we get like a pretty cool view. But yeah, pretty cool uh, room. What do we got here? February 1938. Who's this guy? Gary Cooper, huh? Oh, there was, so this is the Gary Cooper room? I'm in the Gary Cooper room. Nice. All the rooms I didn't notice, but look. This is the Gary Cooper room. It says Gary Cooper was born as Frank Cooper in the state of Montana in 1901 and grew up comfortably in a middle-class family. Uh, he attended, okay. Cooper was known for underplayed acting style belief by his tall athletic appearance despite his everyman attitude and appeal he mingled. We also got this uh, drink ticket for a free drink at the bar. It comes with the room and you get free breakfast or $5 off. Pretty cool. All right, I need to go uh, find some toiletry supplies and um, I don't know. We're gonna go check out some other stuff out in the desert before I end this video. Check it out, look, it's open. I didn't do that. Alrighty guys, so also, I mean, it's kind of cloudy out here, but it, at least it's no smoke. There's no smoke, I made it out of the smoke. Um, but I need to go to a uh, drugstore and get some tooth, a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then I think we're gonna head out of town uh, before I end this video. You hear that? They got a train. They got a train coming through town. Well, they are closed. They're closed at six and then they're closed all day tomorrow. So looks like I'm gonna have some stinky breath. All right, train, we get it. We get it. Look, there it is. Oh, I can't zoom on this side. Anyways, whatever. Damn it. All right, I gotta find somewhere. Someone's gotta have a toothbrush. Check it out though. This is why I love these old Nevada towns is that this building, you can tell, it's built in the, ter the last century or two centuries ago. All these buildings, it's just so cool. All these little shops, like it's, oops, like it's still, nothing's open, of course. Okay, we're just getting the fuck out of here. Fuck it, uh, I'll stop by a gas station maybe and see if they got a toothbrush, but not worried about that. Um, let's go find these ovens, these old school, ancient, ancient as in, a hundred and maybe 20 years ago ovens. Alrighty guys, so uh, got this little Nevada marker here. It says the Ward Mining District, which is that's where we're going. Um, so get, uh, we'll get a little history. Uh, it says the ghost town of Ward in the foothills of the Egan Range lies some eight miles west of here, booming from 1876 to 1882 with a peak population of 1500. Ward was somewhat of a lawless mining camp Aren't they all kind of lawless though? Every time we go there, they're all talking about they're lawless. Like which ones were lawful? Maybe Tonopah. Anyway, uh, early killings did occur, but justice was meted out by the vigilante committee and the hanging rope. A million dollars worth of silver was taken from a single chamber of the ward mine, yet the abandoned house was used for the first school and no movement was ever started to build a church. Huh, so they had no church. The town was abandoned by the late 1880s. So it was only, all these towns are only, they only go for 10 years or less. Uh, but new discoveries and better mining methods prompted a resurgence in activity in 1906, which we've always, we've seen a lot of that. And again, in the 60s. All right, let's go up and uh, check out this area. This other one behind me says something about Taylor, but I think that's over there. So we'll save that for a different video. Alrighty guys, check it out. These are uh, charcoal ovens that they would use to melt the ore they would pull from the mines. 
Um, they've also been used as a hideout. Let's go inside. Whoa. Dang. Well, that sounds weird. Hello, hello. Echo, echo. Crazy. Pretty cool. Well, I've always wanted to see these and now I've seen them. Pretty much the same thing in all of them. But geez, look at the, I mean, how they constructed these. It looks like they, they had some kind of cement mortar. How did they do that? Really cool. Put all the holes in the bottom so the bottom can get oxygen. Alrighty guys, so that is where I'm gonna end today's video. It's starting to get dark out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Um, hit subscribe if you want to check out my next video because I'm gonna be trying to find some garnets in the Nevada desert. So follow along on that adventure. If you like this one, hit that like button and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. See you out there guys.